ಬಂದೇಹಂ The following is a morning walk conversation with his divine grace AC Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada recorded on the 5th of January 1974 in Los Angeles California Sri Rupam Chakrajatam the material world means we have got different devices for wasting time not for utilizing time is it correct it is considered one of our major problems uh, leisure time people are having more time on their hands and they do not know what to do with it so the government they're scratching their heads inventing things for people to waste their time this is difficult nati vidu sarthak gatin vishnu because they are rascal they do not know how to utilize time where is the aim of life where you have to go this thing they are not so they must waste time so it is the that's the child he waste his time in so many ways it is the duty of the parents guardian to i would say synchronize his activities so that he may not waste his time. It is the duty of the guardians. Similarly, these rascals, they are wasting time. You have to engage them in Krishna consciousness. Then their time will be utilized. It, we're training up Brahminical qualities. But in the people in general, uh, with, how can we engage them also in Krishna consciousness? How can we provide them a means to use their leisure time to perfect their lives? chant hari krishna is it very difficult <laughs> to get them to do it is difficult <laughs> yes it's called them in our temple we practice there our society is the most important society uh, we can teach people how to utilize time properly and be perfect Well you utilize your time Sri Lapra but every second is engaged in Krishna's service and our advanced god brothers they've also learned this art but the vast majority of us we haven't quite got the hang of it yet it is practice as by practicing you become a first class drunkard simply by practicing you can become a first class krishna conscious it is good abhyas yoga yukti na chita sa nanma ga abhyas practice in association the practice is very easily done just like you are saying that you are engaged so by association you can learn also the association is very important proper you are very very regulated almost down to the minute in your activities this is also a big help in utilizing yes. time yes abartha kalatham directional is that this is this should be our aim not a single moment is wasted if you try that how i am wasting my time then you will utilize it you should always remember not a single moment should waste that is advised by rupa goshan abartha kal bartha means spoil and abartha means not spoil abartha kal thus he should be always conscious that i am not wasting my time then it will be done the bombs they also it like that they, they want to see that not a moment is wasted without drinking yes they actually do that uh, they want to drink only 24 hours uh, as soon as the bottle is finished they are finding somebody who will pay 1 dollar and purchase another small bottle they doing only business uh, you want us to be drunkards on the holy name and be like those yes yeah that is eight kinds of dance dance and let dance formation in the bhagavad gita it is indicated by shri krishna that when we approach a bona fide spiritual master 
our relationship is twofold. We render service and then we also make inquiry. Yeah. Now you have answered all our inquiries so thoroughly in our books uh, to make inquiry uh, at this point it seems uh, like you've already answered all the questions. So how may how may we or what is the proper relationship at that point to make inquiry? Read the books. Yes. Read the books, yes. Why I'm working so hard. I read the books. That one who is married, he's an empty. And he's not married, he's also an empty. <laughs> is it not? Huh? One was married. Uh, he is saying, why did I marry? I would have remained free. He is eleventy. <laughs> and when he is not married, oh, why did I accept a wife? I would have been happy. <laughs> so, Dilli ka laddu jo khaya abhi pasta ya jo na khaya abhi pasta. It is Hindi. It is just like Dilli ka laddu. One who has eaten, he is also eleventy. And who has not eaten, he is also eleventy. That is said in Sanskrit. Tippantaniha kripana bahudukha bhaj. Kripana. By one sex life, he gets some children, and is, as soon as there is child, there is suffering. The child is suffering, and the parents are suffering to take care. So, again he begets another child. Therefore it is a tippanta neha kripana bahudukka bhaja. Behind that child producing, there is so much difficulties and trouble. He knows that, but he again doing the same thing. Tippanta neha kripana bahudukka bhaja. Therefore a sane person, kandutiva manasija dhira. Therefore one who is dhira, one has become so bad. He tolerates the sensations, eating senses. It is after eating senses. So one who can tolerate the eating senses, he saves so much trouble. But one cannot, he is implicated immediately. Either illicit or legitimate, it is trouble. And that is the only happiness in this material world. That is the only happiness. Janamaitanadi Grihamidi Sukhangutucha. One who wants to remain in this material world, his only happiness is sex life. He has no other happiness. Janamaitanadi Grihamidi Sukhangutucha. And that is very abominable. Tucham happiness. That is his happiness. But they cannot understand. Kandriyanena karayu riva dukkha dukkha. Eating between the two hands. It produces so many bad results. But he is not satisfied. All right, I have done once, that's all right. One children is all right, one or two. But no, then contraceptive, abortion, so many things. My eyes so strong. He lives. Yes, do this. Become a master of the dog. He has become servant of the dog. Yes. Yes, he practically. A man keeps the dog to give him protection when he will be attacked by somebody. But to uh, uh, wait for that time, he has to give twenty-four hours service to the dog. <laughs> this is this is material life. Uh, we are rounding sometimes this way, sometimes that way. And we are thinking new. <laughs> In this way we are wandering. All over the universe. Find out something <coughs> new. But there is nothing new. Everything is old. <laughs> A living entity is offered, change of the body. 
when he becomes fatigued, uh, this life is so troublesome, so old, old man generally think like that. So he has to change. Another, another new body, child, uh, since born is second care, he thinks now I was so comfortable life. And again becomes old, disgusted. Uh, so he cannot live disgusting. Then Krishna is so kind, all life change body. Chewing the chew. The business is the same. But changing body gets some relief. Uh, just like this man, the business is same, wasting time. By changing, wasting time at home, come to the golf club. That's all. The business is the same, wasting time. Either here or there. Him so much facilities. Uh, sometimes all right, you become tree, all right, you some become a serpent, all right, you become a demigod, all right, you become a human being, all right, you become a king, uh, you become a cobbler, you go to the heavenly planet, uh, go to the hellish planet. Varieties is there. Uh, Krishna is so kind that he's changing varieties, uh, atmosphere of life. Uh, but he is uh, packed up in this material world. <coughs> that freedom, he is asking for freedom, but he does not know. The freedom is at the shelter of Krishna. That he will not accept. Therefore, Krishna has arranged so many varieties. And in disgust, the Mahabadi, they want to make the varieties, variety less, need be said. And the Buddhists, they want to make it zero. But that is also not possible. He may remain zero for some time. Again he will want varieties. The big, big Mahavadi Sannyasi, they preach so much, Brahma Sutta Jagan Mitha. But again they come to the political war, social war. They simply remain as Brahma, I am Brahma. He cannot remain for many days. That he has to accept these material varieties. Uh, variety is the mother of enjoyment. So, therefore, our proposition is come to the real variety, Krishna consciousness. Then your life will be successful. My body, they not only misunderstand the nature of the Absolute, they misunderstand the function of the jiva. When one misunderstands, he misunderstands everything. One who commits mistake, he will commit mistake in so many ways. They want to merge into the absolute. They think that there is no variety. To avoid this variety, just like sometimes one is suffering from some disease, he commits suicide. He thinks, I am suffering. If I commit suicide, then everything will be stopped. But he does not know that by committing suicide, he will increase. Another set of varieties of miserable condition of life. He will become ghost. And becoming ghost, he cannot enjoy anything. Grossly, a subtle body will create disturbance. Therefore, ghost creates disturbance. He hasn't got gross body to enjoy. It's the ghostly haunt, the male ghost haunts over woman, a woman ghost haunts over man. You know that? Oh, it, it so happens. Ghostly haunted. The New York temple, they had a ghost upstairs. Huh? The New York temple in Brooklyn. Uh -huh. This is this was the old house which was uh, used by nuns. Uh -huh. and, and the upstairs floor, uh -huh. on the complete top, there used to be some nuns which were dying there, very old nuns. Uh -huh. When they move in the temple, there was ghost. Still, there is there. There's one room uh, that still comes. Comes? Yes, the ghost comes sometimes. They chant and put incense. I said. <laughs> but she does not go away. Uh, but does not do any harm. They, they, don't, they don't let anyone sleep in that room. Uh, because you know, everyone is haunted. There's many people have seen the ghost. Uh, many devotees. But ghosts cannot remain while there is chanting of rips. Choice, make your choice. Which one? Again, death or deathlessness? 
stop that from here. This is him. The Kurmis, Gyanis, Jogis, they are trying for death. There will be death. But for the Bhaktas devotees, there is deathlessness. Punat Janma Jaya for conquering next birth. Rascal, civilized man, does not know what is next life, how death can be stopped. Nothing of it. Big, big scholars of Bhagavad Gita, they do not understand. The so called scholars, they do not understand. But these things are there in the Bhagavad Gita. Taktadi ham punat janmanai, jadgatyana nivartante. They do not understand, they say, what is this? Do not enjoy so much in this life, they worry more about the next life. Huh? When people realize they cannot enjoy so much in this life, they worry more about what is going to happen to them in the next life. No, I don't say do not know what is next life. They don't know. Uh, they make it zero. Therefore, closing there. There is no next life. Finish. There is no next life. In that way, they are satisfied. Uh, just like the rabbit, there is danger, enemy, he closes his life. He thinks there is no danger. <laughs> so these rascals are like that. Because they cannot accommodate that this life is so troublesome. Again, next life. So that they can realize. Next life means again troublesome. That way they sometimes commit suicide. They think that after suicide it will be zero, so no trouble. These are all ignorance. In psychology, that's called repression. Huh? In psychology, it's called repression. Repression. Taking something which is a fact but refusing to believe it, pushing it out of your mind, repressing it. There is a philosophy called Stoicism, where they believe they, this life is meant to suffer, so they should just become very sturdy to suffer a great deal. What is that? This is a, philosophy, a school of philosophy, sto stoic. 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 Oh, yeah. What is that conclusion? That the world is very is full of suffering, yeah. so they've become very uh, uh, sturdy to bear the suffering. Mostly is. Yes. So, one who can suffer without any protest, he's first person. Yeah. <laughs> That means they do not know how to stop suffering. Yeah. The, here is one class. They are, they are trying to become very strong to tolerate suffering, and other players are then making everything zero. Mm. Uh, there is no question of not suffering, but making zero. No mm. suffering, no, neither suffering. Suffering or not, 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 both of them mm. abolished, dismissed. This philosopher is the, the suffering cannot be dismissed. Therefore, you be strong uh, to tolerate it. Yes. And other philosophers they say there is suffering, so make it zero. But they, both of them have no information that there is real life where there is no suffering. Still, there is life. But that is Krishna consciousness. There is life, but no suffering. They're like owls. Yes. Ultimately, a stop of all sufferings. This is Krishna consciousness. Ananda Maya Bhyasa. Simply Ananda. Dancing with Krishna. Rasa dance. Supposing if there is such life, dancing and eating and chanting, no suffering, so anybody will deny that? Is there any such fool? Yeah, they all deny. They, huh? they deny. Just like the purity. No, no, deny, deny and accept that is the thing. Now suppose there is such life, hmm. 
where you can simply dance, eat or live eternally, happy life. Would you not like to accept it? Eh? Anyone would like to accept it. That you are giving. They think no, no such thing would exist. They think, may think. Now it is theoretical. Suppose if there is such life, they would you not accept it? Uh, you may believe, not believe, that is another chapter. First of all, this is our proposition, that there is a life like this. Would you like? Who will say no? Everyone says yes, I like. It is a question of understanding. There is such life. Uh, but because he is disappointed, being cheated, 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 he thinks here is also another cheating. <coughs> That's it. Therefore, Krishna consciousness preaching means to convince them that there is life like this. That is problem. What, what will convince them that it is simply just not another cheating? Eh? What is the thing that will convince them that it is just simply not another cheating? Yeah, it is not cheating, it is fact. But what will convince them of that? What qualities? Just see an example. Uh, we are chanting, dancing, and eating nicely. What you are doing? You are simply talking nonsense. There is no peace in your life. And see our devotees in Krishna consciousness. This is the proof, practical proof. Practical proof that they cannot get purified. Uh, even though they have big posts. No, and they purified. They are purified. My son, you come with us, we will be purified. <laughs> Bhakti Thakur says, Radha Krishna Valo Sangne Chalo. Hey, Matra Vikhaja. You don't want anything from me. You, I shall give you eating, I shall give you everything. You simply come with me and chant. This is our problem. Hmm. We don't say that you do this, do that. We don't do anything. Simply come with us and chant. It's like the Catholic Church in different places around the world, they feed the people. But we can not only, if we not only feed them, but give them chanting and dancing, yes. they will accept it as superior. Yes. We can see that happening very practically at, at uh, Spiritual Sky. Many big, big businessmen, they come, and they see how these boys are making money, and yet they are singing and dancing all the time. Respect you. Respect to you. Therefore, in India... We are considered as the richest community. There was a question in Parliament. They were from this Krishna consciousness uh, movement. They get their money. And the Parliament replied, home member, that they get money by distributing literature. This was the reply. This is recorded in the Parliament, Indian Parliament. <laughs> So if you simply push on our literature, then our movement is going. You must know. It is really going forward. And there will be no scarcity. You will get everything. Never as they inquire. Is it not? That you are living so happily. Where do you get money? The store keepers, they inquire. <laughs> they are envious. They are all these people... <laughs> Enjoying life without earning, without working hard. <laughs> now, whole Bombay is surprised when he purchased this land. Yeah. <laughs> so much fighting was there. <laughs> immediately I went and purchased everything, stopped. <laughs> they are surprised. This man, they, you know, there are two very stubborn parties yes. who are cheated. Chagalla, he advanced 51,000 as advanced. And when there was question of settlement, so he came, he, he wanted that if you give me three lakhs, then I compromise. So I was prepared to pay him three lakhs. So that Mr. Ganatra, Mayar, I induced him just to make settlement. Then uh, down he came, uh, two lakh twenty-five thousand. Uh, then asked Mr. Naya, Mrs. Naya, that you will pay this, you know, where I have got some, if he takes all money, then what shall I get? Then I had to settle with her, how much you will pay? So she came from one lakh to one lakh forty thousand. 
Sixty. The sixty is eighty-five. Uh, eighty-five. So I said yes, I will pay it. Sorry. The balance I will pay. It. The other man, uh, what is called Ratna Pari. He, eh? Uh, Chagan like this. I paid him extra at five thousand. Then again, this uh, Ratnapari, he first of all proposed twenty thousand to sell that house. Uh, then when I went there, he knew that he's settling at any cost. He said, uh, now that twenty thousand was proposed formally, now things have gone very high. I cannot sell. Uh, so he knows that uh, we are eager to purchase. Then he said, I said, then what do you want to do? Huh? Now I want thirty thousand. All right, yes, take it. I did not argue. In this way I said. And our Giriraj's father appreciated that it is better a bad settlement than to prolong the case. So I I took this policy. A bad it is bad settlement from twenty thousand to thirty thousand. Yes, sir. Settle. I gave him eighty-five thousand black. But one thing I gave that by cancelling the agreement, their uh, uh, proposal was that increase the price twenty lakhs from fourteen lakhs. Hmm. That was the arrangement between the attorneys. They cancel the agreement and take twenty lakhs from it, and the balance will be divided by among us. That was the agreement. So that initial of twenty lakhs, I satisfied Mrs. Nair by fourteen lakhs fifty thousand. The attorneys are settling at seventeen lakhs. But by Krishna's grace, I was able to settle at fourteen lakhs fifty thousand. You are able to convince her to sell off the yeah. house. Yeah. She must have been very surprised to have received the money, such a large payment. Yes. That uh, at the end of this month, the United States will be destroyed by the comet, the Kahutek comet. Yes. There. Demonic principles will be destroyed. They will take to Krishna consciousness. Jai! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what, what do they say after destruction? Then what is next? Uh, they all moved to Mexico and Canada, so they wouldn't be in uh, in the way of the uh, destruction. <laughs> they they don't know what's going to happen after that. So at the time of danger, they go away. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Lord Jesus came to save the fallen souls and yes. they all running away. And they're so good Christian that at the time of <laughs> danger they're all going out to Canada. They say afraid of death. Yes. Even though they are preaching themselves, priests, they are also the same common man, afraid of death. And he, we people Keep to Krishna consciousness. We are not afraid of that. Uh, we are going going from one place to another. That's all. Going home. Nobody becomes afraid going back to home. He becomes pleased. You have our death. There is no death. Be sure. If we simply practice this, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare. no more death. Finish death. This is a fact. Or do something for Krishna. Don't waste time, single moment. Then you are no more death. Because this is deathless condition. And the changing of the body, that is momentary. That is not. So our service is deathless. Eh? Death, yes. Devotional this service. This is deathless. If we stop serving. Do you admit or not? 
theologian. Eh? Eh? Or you have got anything to say? This is deathlessness. Because the soul is acting. Yeah. Huh? It's like it may start raining a bit, probably. We may cut over here. All right. I can bring the car over. No, no. What is that? We shall not die. <laughs> we shall <laughs> melt. <laughs> no, it is pleasant. Bisham Purnam Sukhayate. For a devotee, everything is very happy. There is no unhappiness, any condition. Then, Bisham Purnam Sukhaya. For non devotees, everything is a problem. And for devotee, everything is happiness. That is the defense. Yeah.